Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, John Wooden has said, "Do not let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do." And it is related with our situation. So let's talk deeper about it. I'm Dewi Arum Jamilia Safiana from English Education Department of Walisongo Islamic University. Today, I will deliver my speech about building leadership to improve education after pandemic. At least in these two years, the pandemic is forcing us from social activity. And this situation interferes every life sector, such as economic, education, health, culture, politics, and so on. But the reality is, life must go on, as usual. In education field, the government implements a distance learning system as a solution for education and pandemic. And then, all levels of education in Indonesia use online media to support learning activity. But even though the teachers can still teach and students can still learn, there is still extremely low interaction in the classroom. And the truth is that the Students' ability and the Indonesian quality dropped drastically during the pandemic. Based on the data from the UNESCO, there are additional 20% or same with 101 million children in the world have difficulty reading. That also happened in our country. In the report entitled Promise of Indonesian Education, the World Bank gives red notes for reading ability for students at age 15 years and under. It may be like, sounds like a bad news, but that's not all. The World Bank also predicted that there are no improving for education, so the student's ability our students' skills will continue to decrease. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know more about it, it will cause the loss of lifetime income value until 151 billion US dollar, or same with 30.5% from 2019 GDP. And when we talk about the ability of Indonesia, the students' reading proficiency score are still low with the current online learning system. There are only 30% of students are predicted to achieve the low reading proficiency score for PISA or Program of International Students Assessment. So, it is getting worse, right? And my question, do you realize it? Um, what are you going to do? Or maybe you just want to cry over something me and make a listen that this is a hard not to cry. I will tell you, that useless. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember what I say. We cannot change the past, but we can change the future. If we make a mistake, so we can fix it. Even we are still a student, so if we want to change the education situation, we have to start with ourselves. So if you just only didn't want to change yourself or lead yourself to make a movement, don't dream you can change the situation. Ladies and gentlemen, I will give you three simple steps to change yourself and to build your leadership. One, it's minus zero. It means that you have to take off all your bad habits. In the online learning, maybe you just join the online meeting and didn't listen to the teacher's explanation and didn't pay attention, so forget it. And let we take a new page. 
let's reopen the new page, make the new page for us, for ourselves. We can do this and start with planning and also preparing. You have to make a plan what you will do in the future. And if someone asks you, you will have a strong answer. You can say, I will continue my study, I will go abroad, I will work in the Indonesian embassy office, or maybe you want to be an entrepreneur and others. So just make a plan how to rise your dream. Second, it's time to change from zero to one. It means you have to create a good habit. You have to look at yourself. What things that not yet on you. So you have to build it or you have to create it. Some simple good habits such as we are preparing before joining the class and then we are writing the material, we are reading the material and then we prepare questions. It will make us have an active role in the class. And then don't forget to do your best in everything, such as making assignment and then collecting it, joining the organization, or maybe you want to join a seminar or competitions, and etc. Then the last one is you have to change from one to plus one. If you already have a good habit and you have already good achievement, so don't stop your progress and easy to feel satisfied with what you have achieved. You have to think critically, you have to be creative and innovative. So guys, if you can implement those three steps, that not only change you, but it will change your quality and will determine your right future. Even though it will be hard in the process and you need a hard struggle, hard effort, and to improve it, remember it. The strongest people are not those are always win, but they were still going when they crash. So that's all my speech. I hope it will give us benefits. And the last thing that I want to say is, do you want to know who you are? So don't ask, but act. Action will delineate and define you. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.